Well, and just like that, I passed the medical. <laughs> Thanks to one of my subscribers who uh, mentioned this clinic. You know, I was searching far and wide to find, uh, find a clinic that doesn't charge you too much. Because that's what I was doing when I was in Ontario. Uh, but over there, it was easier to find. I just found, uh, you know, you just search for driver medical. It was a kind of like a regular clinic, but they were doing medical specifically, you know, like there was one doctor who was totally focused on driver medicals. And back then it was 50 bucks. Then I think it went up to like 53 or 55, but I was going to the same clinic in Mississauga near the big hospital there. I think it was at the bottom of Highway 10, closer to the lake. And never had an issue. And so here, everything was more expensive, but then this guy told me about this place. And, uh, and so I had to call and book an appointment. And today is the last day, as I mentioned in the previous video, today is the last day uh, according to Ontario, but it's like some of their records online say 12 months, others say up to three years, you know, since your medical expired, you can reinstate your license. But, but basically uh, two, two issues I found, actually it's a good thing that I came because, you know, I don't go to doctors too often. So I found that my blood pressure was a bit higher than I thought it would be. And my eyesight, I passed. Of course, I see that I'm on the verge, but I did, you know, whatever legally required, I could see that with, you know, one eye and then the other eye. So I passed the eye test. Uh, the blood pressure was a bit higher, but it was okay. So I definitely need to lose some weight. I'm telling you, like I'm 183. And for my height of, uh, was it like 1.81 centimeters, that's considered overweight, you know? So I have to be at 180. So I have to lose uh, 13 pounds. And, but the doctor wasn't too concerned. He says, most people, when they come in here, you know, their blood pressure goes up. He says, if you want to check, go into pharmacy and do like a couple of readings and take the medium one. He says, if it's below 140, you're okay. But still, you know, it's good to check this, right? I know it's, I forgot last time I checked my blood pressure. I think last time I did a medical in Ontario, which I think was, uh, you know, in Ontario, you do them every three years after, after 45. So if this one expired in 20, in 23, that means that the last time I did it was in 2020, four years ago. And I, I remember back then it was like 125 or 120 by 80, you know, my blood pressure was never an issue. So I definitely, but back then I was much thinner. So I definitely need to, uh, you know, start running more, lose weight get myself uh get get in in the program so to speak you know so that's it the the guy signed everything stamped the form so now i just take it to the registry but before i do that i'm gonna stop by my home because it was too early for the mail but i was hoping that maybe today i will get that uh, driver license history from uh, from ontario and uh and once I stop at home, then I'm, I'm going straight to the registry and see what they can do because I have the medical. But as far as they're concerned, they're saying that, hey, what, when we look at the Ontario records, it says, um, you know, five, class five. It doesn't show them. So basically, yeah, before I go to the registry, actually, I want to go to Staples and I found the fax number for the medical what is called medical review board of ministry of transportation um so i'm gonna fax them everything i'm gonna fax on my alberta form because actually i actually asked these guys i said can you do ontario medical as well so i, I printed out an ontario medical form and they said no we don't do that but they said ontario should be should be able to recognize your alberta form because it's all interchangeable right between provinces uh and so yeah so um uh, so back home now, check the mail. If it's mail there or no, no mail, go to Staples, fax everything to Ontario. And I also printed out a nice uh, letter using uh, pages on my computer, or you know, pages, the software. And uh, I also, I'm gonna attach a copy of my Ontario license because it's still expiries in 26. But it's been canceled because I moved and also because the 
because the medical expired last year. Eh? But let me see. I want to read you the letter I typed up. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I said, okay. Two, Minister of Transportation, to whom it may concern. I lived in Ontario from 97 till 22, and the last 17 years I held a Class AZ driver's license. I moved to Alberta in October 22 and exchanged my AZ for a regular Class 5G Alberta license. In March of 23, the medical report on my Ontario license expired, and you downgraded me from Class AZ to GZ, even though I no longer lived in Ontario. Because of this, authorities in Alberta refused to give me back a Class 1 license. It's been exactly 12 months today, which is true, March, March 12th. It's been exactly 12 months today since that medical report expired, and I'm attaching a new medical report that I completed in Alberta today. Please review the attached and reinstate my driver's license class back to AZ so that I can get a Class 1 license in Alberta. Class 1 in AB is the same as AZ in Ontario. If you need to reach me, my cell is da-da-da, my email address is this, and then I also put down my mailing address. So hopefully this will catch their attention. And then I'm thinking, once the Alberta can see Ontario showing AZ, that's when I can just pay, uh, pay, you know, for the new license. I think it's like 200 bucks or something to change just the license and then... Uh, last thing they do is just they do a quick vision check at the registry. You know, you look inside that big machine where like there's a broken, like a ring with a broken side and you tell them right, top, bottom, right? That's how, but I think you, you do it with both eyes so that shouldn't be too hard. So anyway, off to the races now. And then Monday I start uh, shadowing. I really appreciate this opportunity. So not a lot of money, but I need something just you know, bills are piling up, no income, no regular income since I moved here. So I need a job with a steady income. Well, Captain Sergey has some good news, not perfect, but very good. So behind me is the registry or DMV, what it's called in Alberta. So I triple checked and double checked basically after I did the medical, right? So I sent everything by fax, cost me 10 bucks. Unbelievable. I faxed everything to the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario because I found there, it's called the uh, Driver Medical Review Office. And that, that office has the posted address and fax number. Sorry about that. Where is it? Yeah, they're in, in, in uh, Toronto. Yeah, and so I faxed them everything. And then, just to make sure there's no mistakes, even though I had a confirmation from, from uh, the fax machine. And it's funny, uh, Staples no longer has regular fax machines. They just use the same printer where you make copies. Weird. I said, can you increase the resol resolution to fine oh no it's gonna make the best copy there's no way to increase the resolution i said you see like the old method was better because on the fax machine i always was choosing you know there's a button the resolution and you can choose default or fine and i always used fine when sending documents you know like multiple lines of text especially when it's small letters this young girl says oh i don't remember there's a being a button called fine I wanted to slap her, but I restrained myself. Anyway, so I faxed everything. And then I went to the Shoppers Drug Mart where they have a Canada post office. And I mailed with express mail the same stuff back to Ontario. So now they have the fax, five pages, and they have a letter. So they should get it Monday. And then I thought, okay, do I have to wait till Ontario updates my license online? Because these guys, that's why they cannot update, upgrade my license. Because when they go into Ontario portal, they don't see that I had a Z. Because, you know, they don't show you the history for some reason, right? And so this lady, last time I was here, Christina, very nice, uh, knowledgeable lady. Um, she said, yeah, bring me a driver's abstract 
that shows a Z and it has to be less than 90 days old, right? And so I got that one, the mail number one, five-year driver's abstract, the most recent. And of course, it doesn't show anything except it says GZ, which is 5Q, which is exactly what I have now. And so that's totally not helpful, right? And so I went back there, back to the registry after I got my medical. And first I went to some, uh, some young kid. I explained, I said, I have to give you some backstory. I started explaining, he's like, Oh, it's, you know, it's, you better talk. I said, I talked to this lady because I recognize her from two or three weeks ago she, because she's still wearing the same green sweater. I said, last time I was here, I talked to this lady in the green sweater. And, and he says, oh, then you better talk to her because he says, this is beyond my, my scope. Um, and so I stood in the center in front of everybody and I was letting other people go. I said, okay, you guys, I'm just waiting for this lady. You can go to another window. And she still remembered me. I said, hey, you remember I was here a few weeks ago. I'm the guy from Ontario. And I showed her all the same paperwork I showed her last time. And she said, oh, yeah, I remember. All right. Uh, so I guess I'm not that ugly after all. And I said, okay, you asked me for a driver's abstract. Here's what I got. But it only shows um, class 5 or GZ. But I said, what happened is I just wanted to remind you. Like he has an older abstract where it shows that medical was due on, on March 8th, 2023, exactly 12 months ago. And so I said, here's the medical. I just did the medical today. And uh, I said, can you do anything on your end here? Or do we have to wait till Ontario processes my paperwork, which I faxed and mailed them until they update my license in their system? And she says, oh, let me just fax this myself to the government and let me call them and see if we can just give you, you know, class one without waiting for Ontario. And she went and she faxed some, all of my paper, papers that I gave her. And then she comes back, she started calling. And I said, uh, I said, I just faxed them because I was assuming she's calling Ontario, right? I said, I just faxed them everything this morning so I don't think they processed it yet, you know? And she says, I'm calling my government. <laughs> I'm calling my government. So government of Ontario, thank you. And so she calls, she talked to somebody for 10 minutes and she says, okay, good news, bad news. So the good news is that she says, all I need, I need to see when your license was downgraded from AZ to, G, to, to GZ. I need to see the date. And I said, hey, perfect. Because that's the second document I'm waiting for. I said, I ordered two. I ordered this five-year abstract, right? But I also ordered, because they told me that the five-year abstract is not going to show the history. So I ordered driver's license history. And that one should show, you know, all my licenses, right? And I'm pretty sure it's going to show, let's say, uh, March... March 23, it'll say downgraded to G, you know, but all she needs, she needs the date when it was exactly downgraded from AZ to GZ. As soon as she has the date, she says, come back here. I'll give you class one. I was, you know, I was ready to like kiss her or something, you know, give her a hug, but there's a glass window, you know, you cannot do anything, but if she gives me class one, maybe I'll go and buy, buy her coffee or pizza or something because See, like many people like that guy, the first guy, he does not know about this because it's very complicated. You have to deal with, you know, two jurisdictions, but unbelievable. I started, if you remember, I started thinking that I should get class four. Then I thought, you know what? Maybe class three is better, like a big truck, uh, like, you know, 10 ton truck, because class three here, um, there's no medicals until you're 70. It's the same rules as for class five, like regular car license, right? And class, but then I'm thinking, wait a second, I st it's still within three years. Like, why am I giving up on this class one, which is super, super available because again, you can drive a bus. So class one here, it's the same as uh, class two, which is B in Ontario, right? Whereas in Ontario, if you want to drive a big bus over 24 passengers or 23, whatever, you need to, you need to go to and get your class B. So they want more money, right? Because everything costs money, licensing, new license, exams, you know, 
But here, as soon as you get class one, you can drive whatever you want, except motorcycle. You can drive a limo, taxi, a five ton truck, 10 ton truck, truck with a hydraulic, uh, truck with a trailer with hydraulic brakes, truck with trailer with air brakes, and large bus, over 24 people. So man, I feel super happy. So something is happening today. So we're gonna start the weight loss program again, uh, cut on alcohol, cut on booze, and uh, I was running maybe once a week recently, so now I'm gonna restart jogging three times a week just to have, wanna bring down that slightly higher blood pressure that uh, they discovered this morning. But other than that, so as soon as I get that letter, I check my mailbox on the way from the medical clinic, there was nothing in my mailbox. Maybe it was late, but I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna drive back to see maybe I got it, you know, because sometimes they come at like 12, sometimes they come at one. And I was checking at uh, 10.45, I think. Uh, but if there's nothing today, then I think I should get it like Monday, Tuesday. So, so this lady said the deadline is three years. You know, if you had your AZ in Ontario within three years, they can still give you a class one. All you need is a medical and she already has my medical. So cool. Cool.